Hello, my name is Attila Mann, and in this video I want to talk about the Query Data Web Service again, because in the last video I made about the Query Data Web Service, uh, I said it is not possible to use a wildcard when um, querying data via a web service. But uh, I was wrong, because I um, looked into the code and um, found another wiki page, which was really um, useful. And I found out that um, it is possible to use a wildcard using this LVAL attribute on the field. So in this video, I want to show this one to you. I can remove all this because I don't need it. Uh, I will use the same web service I used last time in the query data tutorial. And uh, I also um, took a look in the code and now I'm pretty sure that the value here, the, um, the search key field, is used as the service type. But um, I always use the same string in both fields, so for me that doesn't really matter. Okay, so how can I use this LVAL? Um, this is used as a lookup. And if you ever have um, used item Pierre to look up something, let me show you the user window. Oops, there it is. Say okay. Uh, let's create a new entry. Yeah, this for example, this is um, this uses a search um, editor, and if I enter something here like garden then this uh, window opens where it suggests that I could use the garden user or if I unselect the customers only and requery it, I also get the garden admin. Yes, yeah, so um, I can use this um, value to basically find entries. And to do this, uh, yeah, my web services uses the CB partner. I want to find business partners. And now I can either search them by name or by their value but then it has to be the exact name. Or what I also can do is I can use the CB partner ID here and say, oh, maybe that's already enough. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I have tested this um, two days ago. So partner ID, let me check it. Garden percent and run this one and there seems to be an error because I forgot to add this slash here and of course my login request is invalid so let me change this real quick Maybe I have to do something other. Have I saved the entry here? I guess so, okay. Then let's say this is a table reference. What about now? No. Is it a search reference? Or does it have to be the identifier, I think? The identifier should work. No. Ah, okay. Yes, of course, because I need um, the reference key. Ah, now I know what's wrong. Okay, so um, let's say we want the CB partner um, TRX. Save it. And now it works, <laughs> finally, wonderful. Um, the thing is, um, you will need to fill um, or to use either the table or the search reference here, because you need this reference key field. If I leave this empty, then you see I don't have this field. And if I put the table in here and select some reference key. Let's 
CB Partner Active Manufacturer Non Summary. Okay, there it won't find one. Yeah, um, the problem is that in the code, the code checks if this field is filled as well if this field is filled. And I can show you where this happens. It's in the model ID service. Uh, don't worry about this. I'm just testing something I will show you in one minute or so. And yeah, where is it? Where is it? It's here. It checks if there is a reference ID and if the reference value is greater than zero and then it um, creates this lookup for you and um, tries to find entries. So if you want to find every business partner, and in my case, I want this, um, I will just create another um, reference key for this case. So I go to my system. Here I go to the reference window and create a new reference and say it's CB partner uh, all, just for example. It's uh, um, a table validation, I think. Then I have to create a new entry. It's the CB partner table. The key column is CB partner ID and the display column is the name. And in my where clause, I want to say um, is active equals yes. So I only get the active business partners because I don't care about inactive business partners. So now I can go back to my garden word client go in here, open my web service window. And where's my get business partner? There it is. Go to my um, business partner. And now I can select the business partner all reference. Okay. So back to this request, you see, I can now use a wildcard to find something. If I run this, I get um, the garden user. But uh, I believe it should also give me the garden admin. So when I have garden with a wildcard, I personally would expect that I get the garden user as well as the garden admin business partner. But um, since this is um, used for a lookup, it will only return the first entry it finds. And in this case, when I run it, the first entry it finds is the garden user. I tried this at my work PC, two days ago or so, or one day ago, and there it always returned the garden um, admin business partners. So it's not really determinable which um, entry you get in response. And that's the reason why I don't really like this. Um, then, because I wasn't satisfied with this solution, I uh, digged a little bit into the code. And um, found out some um, interesting things I want to show you because I want to use the name and here I want to enter something with a wildcard and it should find me anything, which it doesn't do now. But fortunately the code is open source and we can um, take a look at the code and we can change the code. And now we go back um, to here to the um, yeah, the class for the web services is in the org IDMP web service package, then in the AD interface package, and here the AD, uh, the model AD service implementation class. And then we can go to the query data method. And yeah, I took a look at the code and I saw that um, this line is what bothers me. Um, yeah, what I would need here is that if it's a string field or a text field, which can be any field which is a char or a varchar uh, on the database, then I don't want to use the equal, I want to use the like, the SQL like clause. So what I can do here is I can um, add some lines of code. So um, yeah, we have this um, web service type here and it provides us some interesting methods. For example, the method, get field input by a column name. And this will return us um, the, um, this, uh, 
this input field entry here. For example, if uh, I ask for the um, input with the column name name, it will give me this entry. So um, I have the column name available from here. So I can paste this here. Uh, this returns me an XWS web service field input, in which I uh, can use. So the next thing I need to know is um, which um, yeah, data type, SQL data type is this field. And I can use the display type class, um, which is located in the base plugin, I think. And I can check if um, the, I can get the, um, the string of the SQL data type. So um, yeah, to get the display type, I need the display type, the column name and the field length. So what I can do here is I can say input field um, get, I forgot a letter, input field get column. Is it get column or is it ad, ad column, I think. Okay. So this method returns an iad column. which I want, just import the, um, the class. And now I can say column dot get, um, what is it? Is it the AD reference ID, I think? I think it's the AD reference ID. Then I can say, column get column name and I can say column get field length. So this returns me a string. And now I can check if the SQL type to uppercase contains the word char for character, then I want to use a like here. And if it does not contain this, then I don't want the like here. So here I probably forgot the semicolon, okay. So yeah, let's take a, just a look, let, let's just take a look at this method. Um, as you can see here, um, different display types um, return different um, SQL uh, types. For example, the yes, no field um, returns a character or the list or payment, they also return character or um, yeah, vacha. So I think it should work. <laughs> I haven't tested it in every uh, possible way yet, but um, let's just give this a try. Uh, yep, save it. This is a real quick and dirty hack. I, um, yeah, I discovered and let's hit this. And here you see, I got both both of them, and that's what I want. That's what I need when um, I use my query data web service. And hopefully some intelligent people or one of the core developers um, takes a look at this, because I believe it's not so hard to make this um, really safe. This is, a, this is a quick and dirty hack, and maybe there's an error in it, or there can be a case where the reference is overwritten and then this won't work anymore. But uh, yeah, I, I believe that shouldn't be so hard to make this work and integrate it into the core. And I would really love to see this into the, uh, in the core because um, yeah, even when I don't use the wildcard, the like still works. And yeah, I hope this video helps you. Um, if yes, then feel free to leave me a comment or um, give me a thumbs up. And I see you in the next video.